Happy Blue Bells Eve! <laughs> How long have you been waiting to say that? <laughs> For a long time. It is the night before Blue Bell. The night before Blue Bell. And I'm going to prepare Prepared. her stuff. I don't know, when are you going to propose? <laughs> We're going to be too rushed in the morning. So I'm going to prepare her stuff now. And that's why I'm starting the vlog now. I just want to show you quickly. Look at my lights. These are new. Do you like them? It's so cosy. But anyway, I'm going to start by getting her stuff ready. So I did order a few more things that you guys wouldn't have seen. So I got here this little collar with a lead. It's got a little bow on it and I thought it could subtly match Poppy's because Poppy's got a bow on her new one. Got some poop bags, but they're pretty poop bags to make her poop pretty. And I got her this cute little snuggly harness. So it's got like woolly bits inside, I think. I don't know, mm, no, maybe I'll take that one tomorrow. Not sure what I'm gonna take to put on when we get there. I also got her this little coat that has a hood with ears on. I'm not gonna put it on her often, but when she's cold, she can wear it. What else did I get? Oh, I got her a little autumn collar as well, which I'm a little bit unsure about. It's got like acorns and leaves on it, but I'm not sure about that one. And that's about it. Oh, also, in this one, I got her a little crate because we're going to crate train her. We decided, finally, because I wasn't sure. So, I'm going to set that out, set out a little basket. Poppy's like, what? <laughs> Sister's coming home. You're going to be very upset, but you'll like her eventually, I promise. So I got the cage ready. I don't like saying cage, it doesn't sound nice. The crate. It's a crate, not a cage. I know, but it looks like a cage, I don't like no, it. it we have decided to crate train for reasons that it was just a better option, but I'm only gonna put her in that at night and when we go to the gym. Obviously, cause Poppy, we're not sure how Poppy's gonna be. Like when we're at the gym, if we're both at the gym, and so it's just safer. And in the night as well, you know, we can't watch what they're doing together. And it is better, I think, to train dogs through crate training overnight and stuff with chewing and things. But well, you know, that's just that's just what we personally have done. Maybe no, you can't go in there. That's not your space. That's just what we've decided. But obviously, some people might not think it's the best way. But. That's what we're doing. She's got a little heat up bed in there. And then we got this little carrier just cause tomorrow we have to get the train to get her. So we're just bringing this in case she wants to go in somewhere safe. Got a little blankie and I got her a little cushion. But to be honest, I'll probably have her on my lap. It's just in case she wants it. So that's that. We're all prepared for the journey. We shall see you in the morning, but I just thought I'd show you this now because I'll be we'll be in a bit of a rush in the morning, so the next time you see us we'll be with Bluebell. Will it? Yeah. You're gonna vlog on the way. No, because people will be like, I don't care, I just wanna see the puppy. We'll see you with Bluebell. It's the last night of being an only child. Anything to say? Don't worry, we'll still love you the same. <laughs> Bye! This is what I'm wearing today. So I got my little fashion Nova leggings on. I'm not sure you're supposed to wear them out of the house, but I want to be comfy. 
and then I've got this little pretty little thing top on and I'm also going to wear this little red I think this little red crop jumper and I know pink and red never used to go but I feel like it's it's in this year so we're gonna do that it's in to me anyway <laughs> and also I know I said the next clip was gonna be bluebell and I evidently I'm not a puppy. I just thought I'd show you a few things before we went. Because I, th I felt like it was a bit weird just not saying anything in the morning. So, good morning. It's a very frosty day today. And we are in a bit of a rush, so I'm not going to be long. After I spoke to you last night, I've got a few other things ready. So I got a puppy pad in case she needs it on the way home. I brought some poop bags. I don't know how prepared I need to be, so I'm just being over prepared. I've got her little bowl so that we can put some water in it so that if she gets thirsty she can have some water. I've got some little puppy treats and her little collar and lead which we will put on her. So we are all prepared and it does kind of suck. We have to bring her home on the train but obviously as I explained in my last vlog me and Al don't have cars in London and um, my friend was going to drive us but she had to work in the end. So, we have to get the train, which I know some people will be like, you shouldn't bring a puppy home on the train. It will be fine. Um, so excited! It's Bluebell Day. And I can't wait for you guys to meet her. I can't wait to meet her properly. She's going to be the cutest little thing in the world. And now I need to rush to Pret to get us some food for the trip. So, I will see you guys. With Bluebell! We're home! Oh, and there's Poppy in the window! Uh oh. The first, the yeah, first we... meeting. Puffy! <laughs> okay. Wait, we won't show Poppy yet because it might upset her if we enter with her at the same time. So we're going to wait until we're in because then it doesn't look so much like she's coming into her territory. It looks like she just appeared. We're waiting for Poppy to get out of the front door. She out, can I come in? I don't know whether to come in. Okay, she's not at the front door. This is a good start. Right, let's get in. Where shall I go? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. You were a good girl on that journey. No need talking to you, You're gonna walk in there. Do you wanna have a look? <gasps> She's spotted her. Oh. What's wrong? Oh, what are you doing? It's okay. Come on. Puppy. Oh, listen. Hello, come here. Come here. Come here. Come on, let's go outside. Let me just. Poppy's not quite sure yet, Bluebell, but soon she will. She will like you, I promise. <laughs> Come on then. Let's go outside. I got here. Come on. Okay, so I'm not sure Poppy is ready to meet Bluebell yet. So we're just gonna let her do her thing and stroke her when she allows it. <laughs> and Bluebell's just chilling. Are you tired? You need to come and have some water. You must be thirsty. Oh, she's very tired. Maybe we should let her have a nap. Do you want a nap? She's already napping. You have a nap, and then when you wake up, you can have water and food and go for a wee. Yeah? Oh dear, Poppy 
I don't think you should get this close yet. Is that getting close? Not completely, though, as you can see it. Oh my god, why did I catch this on camera? <laughs> She's not moving, so she. Puppy. You just get used to her as slowly as you want, Poppy. But we still love you. But yes, we are tired. But I am going to... My friend Holly's coming around, actually, to meet Bluebell. So we're going to let her nap. And then, hopefully, when Holly gets here, she will be nice and sleep-filled. <laughs> Filled with sleep. Nice and rested, that's what I meant to say. And I think we're just going to really gradually, gradually introduce Poppy and Bluebell because... Poppy's a little bit of a feisty cat. Basically, I thought it was going to be completely fine because Poppy stays at my mum's house when we go away and my mum has a cavalier, which is what Bluebell is, um, which is a reason why we got a cavalier. And also, she looks after another dog. And Poppy used to just chill with them. So we thought it would be okay, but then I realised that bringing an animal into her home was a bit different because whenever Poppy went to stay there, it wasn't her house, so it's a bit different. So, we'll be okay, it's just going to take a while for them to be okay together, but I actually think they're going to be good friends. And I reckon, <laughs> I all reckon that Poppy think, Poppy's going to think it's her daughter. I'm not sure how that works, but... <laughs> this is the dilemma, but we knew it was going to happen. We just need to make sure we give Poppy lots of love when she lets us. <laughs> Still, through this tough patch, but... It's going to be okay, and I know Bluebell will be very nice to her, it's just we need to let make sure Poppy's nice to Bluebell. But it's going to be fine, and we will document the process, because I think it's going to be interesting. I will update you when she wakes up from her nap, and um, yeah, I'll update you then. Yay, she woke up and drank. <laughs> she can't keep her ears out of it. <laughs> oh, a little one. Ooh, she's getting excited. Your ears weren't designed very well, were they? <laughs> she's gonna need a bloody wee after that. I don't think your body can handle much more water, Bluebell. It's just gonna come straight out. You good girl, you got a wet face now. <laughs> Either wee, come on, she go for a wee. I think you're not supposed to distract them <laughs> while they try and go for a wee. It's not bedtime yet, it's wee time. Come on. Not supposed to distract. <laughs> you don't want to go for a wee. Is it cold out here? You have to go for a wee. You haven't been for one for a long time. <laughs> She's falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Make <laughs> your little tail. No, we can't play now. You go for a wee. I want to play with her. Yeah, but she needs a wee first. Go on, have a wee. Do you go Oh no, Poppy, it's okay. Oh, I feel bad. You got matching bows though, Poppy. Your sister's. Just a little bit different. No, no, leave it. Just let them. Let them. <laughs> it's a stare off. What's that? Poppy about to skip a shit. She's like, I don't know what that is. But I'm gonna lay here. No, no, not lie time now. Go on. Wee wee. No. Leave me alone. Am I your mummy? Right, I'm gonna put you there. Try and leave her. <laughs> Come on. No, <laughs> oh, I can't turn around. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's the first thing we've failed on. <laughs> Feeding time. You hungry? Let's Hello. Poppy first. Okay. Poppy's food has been transported up here so that Bluebell doesn't eat her food ever. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Where's her food? Oh, she's tired. Okay, you have your food. You've been a good girl. Good girl, Poppy. Not too upset. I'm sorry. 
This is like animal vlog. Too much excitement in one day. That's what my mum always told me. I feel like a mum that's just tired from their children. <laughs> I dread to think what it's like to be a mum. So, the current situation is, Bluebell is having a nap in her little crate. I think she likes it in there. It's like her little safe place. And we shut the door because I'm just going to quickly pop to the shop to get some dinner. And Poppy's just wandering around. She's not too bad, is she? She's alright. Where is she now? Let me go and see if she's okay. Where are you, little Poppy? Oh, you're having your food. Good girl. She seems to get funny sometimes when she smells my hand and she can smell the like puppy smell of bluebell on it, I think. But you know, we're just gonna have to take it each day as it goes. But I'm sure she'll warm to her and they'll be best friends soon. She's not too bad, to be honest. She's not being hostile. I think she's not sure what she is and like <laughs> what her game is, so she's sussing her out, I think. What's your game? Why are you in my house? I feel like I need a bath tonight. Looking good. No one knew I did to do that. Ding. All grey everything. Miles off to the gym. I'm not going to the gym today. I'm having a day off and I feel like I need to supervise the babies. <laughs> oh, I'm zoomed in. Oh, no, I'm even more zoomed in. I will update you, but I feel like it's, this is quite a hard vlog to film because I was, I feel like there's so much expectation of the getting a puppy vlog, but you know, I'm doing what I can. It is quite hard with Poppy being a bit of a difficult child and then Bluebell being a little bit of a tired child and then me being a tired woman. So, um, yeah, it's quite hard to film and look after them. And enjoy the experience. Yes. We are enjoying the experience as well as filming it. Even though I, I feel like I haven't eaten enough. I've drank coffee and I'm a bit shaky and I need some food, I need a bath, I need to chill out. Too much excitement in one day. Right, she's up. She is up. Look what mummy's making. <gasps> Ooh, you see. <laughs> Have a little play, go on. You talk to her in a high pitched voice, she gets excited. I'll do your kisses. Ready? <laughs> kisses! She is so freaking cute. You look a bit like a cocker spaniel, but you're not. She's not a cocker spaniel, guys. She's a she's a cavalier king child spaniel. I grew up with two, fun fact. That's a big reason why we have one. Ooh! Yawns. You're chilling. Mm. You just want a kiss. Come on, you've got to run around and have a bit of exercise. You've been sitting down all day on your bottom. Okay. <coughs> Wait a minute. So the fajitas are basically ready, but <laughs> I'm glad to show you. She's playing with her toy and she's crying while she plays. Why are you crying while you play? <laughs> You get a bit overexcited there. What? I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Why does she cry while she plays? Can someone please tell me? <laughs> you play fetch? <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> play bell. Your head button things. Can someone please explain this? Is my dog alright? Are you okay? Why are you crying? Hello, Belle. <laughs> well, that's interesting. 
Anyway, I'm finishing off my fajitas. I don't understand. <laughs> she looks so happy, but she doesn't sound it. She's having a great time while she cries. If someone knows that this means something else, please tell me. Because I am a first time dog owner of my own and I'm not a pro. If anyone has any tips for puppies, don't hesitate to comment below because I would be glad to be given any advice. I feel like I'm, I'm doing alright, but I don't want to do anything wrong, so um, let me know. But she seems alright, she's just crying while she plays. Anyway. Sorry, I'm like literally not even finishing my sentences. Welcome to the mum life. The dog mum life. So, Bluebell, I think is done for the day. She's been playing with all her toys, all her pink toys. But I think she is a bit tired. I was trying to keep her up for as long as I could so that she was worn out for um, the night. But I think she's just exhausted from just the excitement of today. So I'm going to let her have a bit more sleep. I think I'm just going to end the vlog now because, I don't know. I just think I'm going to end it. <laughs> are you going to end the vlog? <laughs> I think so. What are you going to do? End the vlog. How are you going to end it? <laughs> <laughs> no. But anyway, yes, I think I'm going to end the vlog just because Bluebell's asleep, Poppy is sulking outside, and that's the story for today, the puppy day. But I actually think I'm going to vlog tomorrow, Bluebell's first day, first full day, and I'll probably just do a general vlog with it so it won't just be puppy like this vlog was just animals everywhere but I will see you tomorrow so it's fine and I'm sorry this vlog is kind of a bit like everywhere I feel like I didn't really speak to you guys that much and I don't know I just felt it was just all over the place but you know it was puppy day so it was inevitable that it was going to be a bit all over the place but she's home and she's happy. Poppy's not too bad, but she's not great. She's just a bit like betrayed by us, I think. She thinks we're not nice ad adults, <laughs> not nice parents. But through time, she will become more used to her. And I think she'll just realize that she's not out to eat her, which is probably her worry right now. So, you know, I don't blame her, but we're just trying to give her space. I've given her lots of cat milk tonight. I'm going to go to the pet shop tomorrow and buy more cat milk so that I can treat her as much as I can. We're giving her lots of love to make sure she's okay because I love my little poppy and my little bluebell, my little flowers. <laughs> but I will see you guys tomorrow and I'll update you on how bluebell was through the night in case you're wondering. Hopefully she'll sleep okay. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you like Bluebell, because I do. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Actually, it won't be tomorrow for you, it'll be like two days, but it is tomorrow technically. <laughs>